Andy, a dynamic leader with decades of experience building companies and crushing sales. He's been there and done that. Ladies and gentlemen, hello. My name is Van B. Aspiring audiences across the country to do it too. Here's Van. Well, hello, everybody, and welcome to the Van Deed Podcast. I am grateful that you're with me today. I know what the value of time is. You know, time, that's all we have to offer is time. So I'm grateful that you spend your time um, with me, and I'm confident that you're going to get some takeaways out of these podcasts that I do for you. Today, I want to talk to you about turning it up. As I say, let's turn it up. So this is the time of year when motivated achievers decide to finish the year strong. If you have not met your goals for 2024, and you may be listening to this podcast in 2030, this applies to all of us in the fourth quarter or just about any time. If, if you haven't met your goals as of right now, you still have time to get there. If you have met your goals for this year, then now is the time to start planning for a successful next year. No matter where you are in meeting your goals, now is a great time to turn it up. Not tomorrow, not next week, but now. But instead of trying to finish strong for the rest of the year, I want to talk to you about let's turn it up to finish strong today. So if you get inspiration and guidance from reading motivational newsletters like mine, the Van Deep newsletter, or self-help materials, you're probably in the habit of setting goals for the day. You're probably in the habit of setting goals for the week or the year. Because like-minded people like us that are always interested in self-improvement, most of us are goal setters as well. So in this podcast, I want to encourage you to focus on meeting what your goals are for today. What can you do right now from the second you wake up to the second you go to bed to make sure you're living the best life possible while also you're improving the lives of others. Don't think that your efforts and what you're doing in your own life won't be emulated by people around you and inspired by people around you to do the same thing. So speaking about improving the lives of others, I want to give thanks and recognition to a gentleman named Mike Denny. Mike Denny is known as one of the best collegiate wrestling coaches in the United States. I didn't say in the Midwest, in the United States. Mr. Mike Denny was the head coach of the UNO, University of Nebraska at Omaha, Maverick Wrestling Team, before they dropped the program an hour after he won the na- his third national championship. And that's a whole nother story in itself. But talking about, about improving our lives and turning it up every day, Mike texts me every morning, and I'm sure several other people are on it, Uh, on the text, usually about 6 a.m. His messages are different every day, but they always make me want to turn it up. They make me want to turn up my efforts. So what are you doing at the start of your day that will motivate you to be the best version of yourself and to turn it up every day? Maybe you should start reading motivational messages or something. Do you start your day by going to the gym and working out? Or maybe you're working out in your basement. Do you read Bible passages? Do you listen to motivational podcasts? Have you chosen a morning ritual that will start your day in the right path? 
If not, man, I, I highly recommend that you start doing this. Watch what happens to your attitude when you wake up and dictate how your day will go by doing something that will motivate you. I got to tell you a quote that kind of goes along with this. Vision without execution is just a hallucination. That was by Henry Ford. It goes along with all this. When you wake up in the morning, what are you doing? What is your ritual? What can you incorporate to get you fired up about the day? So, as I acknowledged Mike Denny, he reminded me that we have the ability to turn up everything. We have the ability to turn up everything in our lives if we make the decision to. You can turn up your magic. We all have magic. We just sometimes choose not to bring it out. We can turn up our voice. We can turn up our strength. We can turn up our humor. We can definitely turn up our kindness. We can turn up our gratitude. And I can come up with a bunch of other things that we can turn up. But the one thing we can turn up, I know we're all capable of, is love. We can turn up our love, our love for our careers, our love for other people, our love for our family, our coworkers, our employers, our employees. We have that ability, but you have to make a decision that you want to. So I want to give you just five ways. I know you can probably come up with 50. Let me just give you five ways of how you can turn things up today and finish strong. So one of the things is remind yourself of what your goals are and recommit to meeting them. Think about how good it feels to accomplish something daily. Number two, create a written plan and read it and put your plan into action. You know what I'm talking about. Whatever your vision is, whatever your goal is, whatever your plan is, write it down, read it every morning. Turn that plan into action. Number three, eliminate the things you should not be doing that could be holding you back from achieving your goals. Eliminate the things you... I'm going to repeat this because it's this is so important. Eliminate the things you should not be doing that could be holding you back from achieving your goals. I know you can come up with a lot of things. Maybe it's humans. Maybe you're eliminating humans. Maybe you're eliminating things that that aren't good for you in your life. Number four, concentrate on doing things that will move your needle forward. What can you do every day to help you gain traction to what you want to accomplish? It doesn't have to be a lot. It can be a little. And remember, number five is start now. What do you have to lose? Start now. Take baby steps. And don't overwhelm yourself. Don't put too much pressure on yourself. Just remember, you don't have to be great to get started. But man, you have to get started to be great. A gentleman named Gary Ryan Blair said this, and that's why I'm repeating it to you because I like it. You didn't come this far to only come this far. Dig deep, finish strong, and make yourself proud. Notice the last part of that quote. Make yourself proud. What are you doing to make yourself proud right now, today? What can you say right now to yourself out loud? Fill in the blank. I am doing blank to make myself proud today. You got to find something. Remember, you didn't come this far to only come this far. You, my friends, have the God-given talent to turn it up. You have the God-given talent to finish today strong and to finish this year strong. Don't just say that you want to do this. Make it happen. Everything, everything, your vision, your mindset has all got to turn into one thing a plan of action to make it happen. 
a plan that is not executed is just a wish or a fairy tale. Don't be a big talker, or as they say in Texas, don't be big hat, no cattle. Don't be just a talker. A plan that is not executed is just a wish or a fairy tale. You can, you can literally execute any plan that you create. You can execute any plan that you create, and when you do this, man, you will see results. Watch what it does to your life and everybody else around you. Tell yourself today that today is going to be the day when you make a decision to finish the day strong, which will in turn help you finish the year strong. That, my friends, is what we call turning it up. You have the ability to turn it up and finish this year strong. And I want to repeat one area that I talked about a minute ago. Turn up everything. Turn up your magic. Turn up your voice. Turn up your strength. Turn up your humor. Turn up your kindness. Turn up your gratitude. And turn up your love. So I am extremely confident I can help you turn it up and finish the year strong. I know how to do this. Just reach out to me at van at vandeeb.com and I'd be thrilled. I'd be absolutely thrilled to play a role in helping you accomplish your goals and dreams. Maybe you suggest to your boss that I come and speak to your company. I would absolutely love that. And also, my books are really, really motivating. Go to vandeeb.com and order some of my books and watch what they do for your life. I guarantee you, you will get some great takeaways. So thank you for listening to the Van D Podcast. Please share this with somebody you think that could use some motivation and they could use a little bit of a push to turn it up and to finish this year strong. I hope you all have a great day, and thanks for listening to the Van Deeb Podcast. A Huda Media Production.